We are here at 1732 South, 500 East in Kaysville, Utah. This is a five bedroom, three bathroom home with a two car garage, central air conditioning, fully fenced yard. Um, and we'll just take a quick look at the neighborhood. It's in a nice quiet residential neighborhood in Kaysville. You can see you've got a nice view of the mountains across the street there. We'll just kind of pan the, the area. Um, Kaysville is only a short commute into Salt Lake City via I-15. Um, you've got plenty of shopping and restaurants right in the city of Kaysville. Um, and this is just a really good location within the city. We'll go take a look at the inside um, to begin with. We'll come this way so you can see. But you can see we enter into a nice uh, formal living room with a bay window. Um, neutral two-tone paint throughout the home. You can see the carpets are nice neutral color. See a nice vaulted ceiling through this main living room and that carries into the kitchen and dining. You can see you've got a laminate wood flooring um, through the entry that carries through into the dining and kitchen. To the left there is a nice, uh, is a conveniently located coat closet. And then we'll just come into this uh, eat-in kitchen and dining area. You can see you've got another um, kind of popped out bay window area there. Plenty of room for a good sized dining room table. You've got beautiful views of the, the backyard. You can see this area with a pass through railing kind of carries into the, the family room or the second living area. But we'll take a look at the backyard while we're here before we look at the kitchen. You can see there's plenty of shade in the backyard. You come out into a nice little deck area kind of pan the backyard. You can see you've got nice fruit trees, mature trees that offer a lot of shade. Nice big cement patio that carries around the corner into a uh, an additional parking space or RV pad. And then we've got a, a garden area set apart as well. But just a beautiful backyard. And then we'll come back into the dining room. As you can see, got an updated kitchen, nice dark hardwood cabinets, plenty of cabinet and counter space in the kitchen. You can see a side-by-side -side stainless steel refrigerator. You do have a, an extra pantry area. That door there leads into the two-car garage. We've got an electric range. You can see that's stainless as well. And then you do have a stainless steel dishwasher. I'll come this way so you can see the window above the sink where you can enjoy that backyard view. Got some nice beadboard detail on the cabinetry. And then we will actually go upstairs first. We've got three bedrooms and two baths upstairs. You can see this hallway. We come up and the first door on the right is a bedroom. You can see all the bedrooms have nice bright windows. We'll come in this way so you can get a feel for the room. Just close the door behind me so you can see that entry door. Good size closet. Then we'll come back out. Second door on the right is another bedroom. See, we've got neutral tones throughout the entire house, paint and carpet. See the closet there? And we'll come get a shot from this corner so you can get a sense of the bedroom. This bedroom has a nice chair rail through it. And then we've got a little storage or linen closet right there, which is next to the shared hallway bathroom. You can see nice tile floors, dark hardwood vanity. Then 
And we'll come in here so you can get a, it is a shower um, tub combination. You can see. Plenty of space in the hallway bathroom. And then the master is on the other side of the hallway. Nice big master. Another bay window and vaulted ceilings with a ceiling fan. You can see as we come through here, you do have a master bath, master closet. Let's get another look at this. Master bedroom, nice neutral carpets and paint. Then we'll take a quick look at the uh, the master closet. You can see it's a nice walk-in closet. Plenty of space. Master bath. Good size master bath. Again, you can see tub and tile or tub and shower surround cultural mar cultured marble um, on that surround and then nice uh, tile floors as well and then we'll head down stairs again you can see you come into this dropped family or living room Nice big area, nice bright windows, gas fireplace, and then we'll come back this way so you can get a feel, kind of how everything flows together, up towards the dining and kitchen. Then on this level we have the third bathroom, and we'll go, that's right off the living area. So you've got a full shower in this room. Nice tile floors. Then you've got like a folding table that pops out on that wall. Pantry, um, or not pantry, but a linen closet. And then you've got a little drop down ironing board. And then these doors here, right behind the entry, that is your washer and dryer closet. So the hookups are right here. And then just to the right, as we turn and go right out of the bathroom, we've got a bedroom, one bedroom on this level, fourth overall. Then we'll go down into the basement. Finished basement as well. You can see it opens up into this. Um, this could be considered another um, smaller family room. We've got some utility closets down here. Um, does have a window. In this closet here, you actually have a drop down Murphy bed for guests. And then just more storage closets here. And then you've got a nice big, just take a quick peek in here, nice big storage room. Just have some extra paint and things in there right now. And then the fifth bedroom is located right here off this additional little family area. And we'll come in so you can get a full view but that is the fifth and final bedroom so I'm going to walk back towards the front door so you can get a feel for that layout again coming up from the basement Turn left through this uh, living area, back up towards the kitchen and front door. Thank you for taking the tour. You can schedule a showing right online at our website, ProRenterUT.com.